Welcome to the Zen Zone. We have five reasons why you may not want to buy the S20, all right? I've compiled these lists from videos I've been watching, from feedback I've been getting, and from friends, okay? Disclaimer, I have personally not ridden the S20 yet, so this is not based off my own uh, perceptions or my own experience on the wheel, but rather things I've observed on Facebook and feedback I've gotten from friends that have ridden it, okay? Uh, second disclaimer, this is not a production model we are talking about here. This is a pre-production model. We, it is designed for us to beat it up, to, to nitpick, and to, uh, to attack it per se, to like find every weak point so that we can give that feedback to King Song. All right. If you're a diehard King Song fan, you may also not want to watch this video. All right. And also, if you're more into just hype, go to Chooch's channel. Okay. Chooch is one of the best hype guys in the world. If you want to get excited about something, go to his channel. Here, I like to keep it real. And that's what I'm going to do with this video. We're going to keep it real. Five reasons why you may not want to buy this. And, and also, I'm really, truly thinking about going with the Master instead of the S20. Okay. Number one reason, which I think is the the one of the biggest reasons um is it's very top heavy so if you've ridden the commander that's the most top heavy euc out there right now compare but th compared to this one this one's even more top heavy all right even more top heavy and what is exactly does that mean it means when you're like turning uh it kind of feels like it wants to tip over on its side and it kind of puts your body into a weird position to compensate so if you're hitting a tight turn coming up on this apple valley speedway race on the 20th you have to hit some super hairpin tight turns and if it feels like you're you're wanting to topple over you're going to lose some synergy and you're going to lose some speed so that's a big one for me is that i do not like top heavy eucs i rode the commander recently and it's very top heavy now uh, there is a possible fix for that the tire can really change the way an EUC feels because the commander had the uh, knobby on it and it reminds me of my ex when I was uh, doing tire changes on it I put the knobby on it uh, I think what was it the Kenda Naba Kendi Kenda Kenda knobby I put that on it for a while or maybe it was the CST knobby I put a knobby on it for a while and it made my ex feel top heavy where it wanted to just like lean over it just want on the top over like a tree being cut down did not like the feeling so I took that tire off this tire maybe is it is a knobby tire, so maybe that is adding to the top heavy feeling. If you're riding street, I'd recommend putting a street tire on it. If you're doing off-road, I'd like to see someone put the Shinko 244 on it. That I put on my X and it was no problem, didn't make it feel top heavy at all. So, And same with the street tire I have on my X, it doesn't make it feel top heavy at all. It was just that one particular tire that made it feel top heavy. And once I took off that top, that, that tire, it was no longer top heavy, right? So that could be a fix for this issue, is the tire. I don't know if there's any other possible fixes. So maybe that's some feedback. If you are getting the S20, try a Shinko 244 if you're going to off-road and try like a street tire if you're not off-roading, okay? Uh, number two reason I may not want to get this is the range and speed price, all right? Compared to the Master, the Master is going to have more speed. It's going to have more range and it's going to be less in price. So that's big for me. I'm not exactly a baller. So, uh, you know, getting more specs for less money is better value and i'm all about the value all right i just noticed it says intermission up there that's kind of bothering me all right we're not at an intermission here this is <laughs> i'll fix that for the next one all right number three is jumps i haven't seen anybody do jumps on this sh yet which worries me because there's plenty of jumps here in vegas and that's where the wheel is i haven't even seen them do like a little jump which is what i would like to see a little jump like just to see and i i'm really excited for rev rides to get this wheel because they have shibby is one of their content creators and some other chooch they have some really good content creators including myself you know i'd like to think i'm a good content creator we create good content for these wheels i want to see some better content for this wheel yuko no offense doesn't have really any good content i haven't seen any good co quality content yet they're more of like the, the testing and trying to find issues and then reporting back so i'm excited to see some real content creators on this wheel hopefully we get to see that soon Number four, I heard there's high speed oscillation. So when you're going high speed, it oscillates a little bit. That's a little bit worrisome. I want this to be able to go over 40 miles an hour without having to worry about any you know issues or anything like that. All right. Fifth issue, last issue. I think we're gonna be able to keep this one under five minutes. Is the plasticky stuff but we've talked about this in prior videos. But you can see here how it's already taking damage. So it may be something that Clark 
needs to make some uh, custom bumpers for or maybe like we can make some custom protection i don't think this is i uh, put it last on the list because i think it's like the least of the issues this plastic nick but it's worth mentioning you can see here it's taking damage um and it may not be easy to get parts or maybe i think we're just gonna need to make some custom parts for it and some 3d print some stuff it the good thing about plastic easy to 3d print we can make some better parts all right so those are my five reasons why you might not to get it might wa not want to get this or why you might want to get the master instead if you're looking for a high speed suspension wheel the specs on the master are better but it, and it is still it looks like pagodi is really testing it. i've seen some really awesome test footage mostly of them going up hills we need to see some street footage i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm going to try to always keep it real here for you and until next time stay in the zen zone.